This video is to show how to use the free Macrium Reflex software to make image backups of the disks in your Windows 7 or Windows 10 PCs. The purpose of this video is to show how you would set up a specific task to back up a disk in your machine to using Macrium Reflect. It's important that you install and insert the external drive before you open Macrium Reflect. Um, so we have plugged the drive in and we should now identify the drive that we're going to use to, to hold the backup. This machine happens to have a number of drives, uh, but the drive that I've just plugged in, which is the external one, is this drive H, and you've got to remember that that's H drive, because we'll keep coming back to that. So if we open this external drive, um, it's worthwhile creating a folder in here just for the Macrium backups. So just create a folder called Macrium like that and then you know where you're going to put the backups associated with uh, this machine. So having done that we can minimize that screen and we can now open Macrium Reflect. That noise you heard was just the user account control uh, of Windows 10 just checking that I wanted to proceed with the action. This is the interface of uh, Macrium Reflect. And uh, you can see in this machine, there is a number of disks. There's the one, two, three, four, five. And this fifth disk is disk H. Remember, that's the external drive that we're going to use for the backup. But these other disks are all internal drives. And it's important that each of these drives have to be backed up with a separate task using Macro and Reflect. It's likely that your machine will only have one disk. So it will only have probably this top disk. Um, so it's not um, overly confusing because you'll only have this disk and also your external drive disk. You'll only see two in most cases. This blue line around the top shows which disk is being identified. And these commands underneath it, clone or image, refer to the disk that has the blue line around it. And this is the one we want to back up because this is the one that contains the C drive where all the Windows operating system is and all the programs are. There are several petitions, there's three specific petitions on this drive, and they're all ticked, meaning they will all be backed up as part of the image when we click on image this disk. And it's important you do back up them all. So this is the one we want to back up, so we click on image this disk. Now, because I've already created this and been into it before, it's now showing H backslash Macrium. Now, for you, it may not show that if you've only just created it. If you need to go, um, if it's not showing the right place, you need to go to um, my computer and then this PC and then find the external drive remember it was h drive double click h drive there's the macrium folder and say okay as it happens it's already seen that as a previous attempt to do this so it's already in there but remember the three dots if it's not showing h backslash macrium and then you want to go through to next. So just click on next, not finish. Click on next. This screen is going to give you the option of scheduling a backup, which we're not going to do. We're going to just do it now. And we are going to do a full backup. So leave the tick in the box that shows full, but take the tick out of differential and take the tick out of purge. So there's just a tick left in full. Then go next again. And this is just a summary screen that shows 
um, what's going to happen. There's nothing you have to do here. You don't have to go into advanced options or anything. You just click on finish. Then this last screen just shows two tick boxes. Run this backup now. Yes, we definitely want to do that. And save this backup and, uh, and schedule as uh, XML, so on. You don't need to do this. Just keep it simple. Take the tick out of that and just leave run as now. So as soon as we click OK, it's going to start the backup process. And this is it. So it's first of all going to identify how fast it can read and write um, from the, the source disk to the destination disk. And uh, once it's determined how fast it can write it, it'll put some figures in this time remaining. And here it is, 38, 35 minutes. So now it's started actually processing the backup. Um, just so you can see the green at the starting point of this line. And slowly this will come right across. And it's saying 34 minutes. Uh, this may vary depending on the size of your disk and the speeds of the disks and your machine and all sorts of things. Um, it could take an hour. It could take an hour and a half. Uh, but there's nothing you need to do now. You just let it go. Preferably not work on the machine whilst it's uh, in the process of doing the backup. Um, and at the end of the backup, a little screen will come up saying backup completed successfully. And at that point, you can close Macri and Reflect and you can disconnect your external drive. That is, unless there's other disks in the machine you want to back up which in most cases won't be the case. So you'll have done, disconnect the drive, and that's the job done.